Good morning, and welcome to Holy Name Cathedral. We extend a special welcome to those who are visiting us today and to our parishioners. Before we begin our celebration of the Eucharist, we ask that you please take a moment to turn off or silence all cell phones and mobile devices. Thank you. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Lou Camelli. Please rise. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his own wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Mass this morning is offered for the intentions of Patricia and Andrea Kovich and Margot Martin. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. You came to heal the contrite of heart, Christ have mercy. Even now, you plead for us before the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by practice, by the practice of good works, the trying always for what is better we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Our response, God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham, for gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is the king of all the earth.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. At the uh, Last Supper, uh, from which this passage is drawn, Jesus promises, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. And I am going back to the Father. What Jesus is saying is that he is our great intercessor before the Father. He's the one who pleads for us. And this is so important for us to grasp and to hold to and appreciate that we have this great intercessor for us before the Father. It's a source of encouragement and comfort when we make our way through life with its challenges and struggles. We know that Jesus is praying before the Father. As you hear in the uh, opening penitential rite, the last petition is, you, even now you plead for us before the Father. It is a source of hope and consolation, and we hold dearly to it. Let us pray. For all clergy. May the graces of the Eucharist sustain them in their ministering to the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may they be inspired by the Holy Spirit in promoting the dignity of all human life and the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from chronic illness, may the healing hand of the Lord be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered here today, may the Holy Spirit help us be united in love and be effective witnesses of Christ's love in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may Jesus welcome them with love into his Father's house in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers and petitions which we offer in the silence of our hearts. Hear and answer the prayers of your people, Lord, who come before you in faith and trust through Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And in this time, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so with all the angels and saints, we join in a hymn of praise as, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, we pray, these gifts by sending down upon them your spirit like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat and drink in this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with all of you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord.
Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord.